The Giving Tree, Good Bedtime Stories for Kids. Today we have a book named The Giving Tree, Good Bedtime Stories for Kids. I think they're so pretty. I hope you guys really enjoy it. I love it. Please give this video a like if you enjoy it, and don't forget to subscribe for more stories. Thank you, reading. So, here we go. Once upon a time, in a peaceful forest, stood a tall and mighty tree. This tree wasn't just any tree. It was a giving tree, full of love and kindness. Its branches stretched high into the sky, providing shade for animals and a place for birds to build their nest. One day... A little boy came to the tree and sat beneath its shade. I'm so tired, the boy sighed. I wish I had something to sit on. The tree, hearing the boy's wish, gently lowered one of its branches, forming a perfect seat for him. The boy smiled and thanked the tree before falling asleep. Years went by, and the boy grew into a young man. He returned to the tree, and this time he looked sad. I wish I had a house of my own, he murmured. The tree, sensing the young man's sadness, offered its branches once again. This time, it allowed the young man to build a house using its sturdy trunk and strong limbs. The young man was grateful and turned the tree's gift into a comfortable home. More time passed, and the young man returned, now as a middle-aged man. I wish I could sail away and explore the world, he said wistfully. The tree, always ready to give, offered its bark to the man. The man used the bark to build a sturdy boat, and he sailed away on exciting adventures. When he returned, he thanked the tree for its unwavering kindness. Finally, many years later, the man returned to the tree, now old and frail. I have grown old, and I have nothing left, he whispered. The tree, its branches now few and its leaves scattered, gave the man its last gift, a place to rest. The man, tired and weary, sat beneath the tree's weathered trunk and felt a deep sense of gratitude. I have given you all that I have said the tree softly. And in return you have given me your friendship and the joy of seeing you happy. Tears welled up in the man's eyes as he realized the depth of the tree's love. Thank you, he said, his voice filled with emotion. And so the tree and the man sat together in peaceful companionship, cherishing the moments they had shared over the years. The End Good job, friends. Thank you so much for reading with me. Bye, I'll see you next time.